what do you think are the problems specifically in say my generation these days are there are there new problems that you see cropping up with people sure. my age having trouble to having trouble getting into a relationship sure well i think sadly it's it's a lot of it has to do with hollywood and the media and um this whole concept of i think technology has really um changed the way that we relate to each other i mean just if you even think about the iphone that it's an iphone not a u phone not a we phone but an iphone and sorry and so the fact that um you know it's all about the i and what's and what's in it for me uh, makes it really difficult to have relationships because the way that relationships were back, you know, in the, the days of our grandparents, great grandparents, and even earlier, it was all about this whole concept of giving and receiving. The sad thing is that people don't realize that um, there's so much richness to be gained from being in a relationship and to deal with that struggle. Because that struggle is what makes us grow and it's what pushes us to the core and it's what makes us the, f the most fabulous people that we can be. I'm just wondering yeah. if how much. How, how much we can expect to find that perfect person and how much we have to just pick someone. Yes. And just move forward. That's another problem of, of you asked me about, you know, your generation. Per the whole idea of perfection is, is such a, it's such a red herring, really. It doesn't sound great, but it, we have to aim for the good enough relationship. A relationship where you feel comfortable to be with the other person, where you feel accepted, where you feel that, yeah, sometimes you're going to have a hissy fit, and the other person's not going to freak out and say, oh my God, I can't deal with that. Or you're going to look like crap one day, and the person's going to be like, oh my God, you don't look like a supermodel, off I go. How do you know if this is the person you're meant to stick it out with and go through that struggle and make sacrifices for... So I think um, as long as it, two people understand that sometimes you're going to be there's going to be tears and sometimes there's going to be anger and hurt and sometimes you're not going to always get it 100 percent right i think it can really work i really do but if it's they're about attracted to each other too. assuming there's attraction and chemistry and all that other good stuff there has to be attraction and chemistry there's no two ways about it because otherwise you think like what's what's, what's this all point? about what's the point why do you want to be with this person if you don't feel like you want to kind of jump their bones every now and again <laughs> woo uh you know like that you know you got to feel that way so to sum it up, mm -hmm. bone jumping <laughs> plus uh, plus willingness to make sacrifice. Yeah. And an understanding that you're in it for the long haul. Yep. That's that's it. Is it do we have we solved it? Have we solved the secrets of um, love? Um, to, to expect the unexpected. I think that's really it. Throw throw that in there, and I think then you pretty much have it. Pretty much, more or less. Cool. Yeah. You can find the secret to love right here, right here in Jerusalem. Right here in Jerusalem. Where else? Where better? <laughs>